long way. Full workout. Full workout? Full everything. You okay with that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Всем привет, друзья! Продолжаем серию совместных видео с Майком и Керном. И сегодня у нас тренировка грудных. Пожалуйста! So we're doing chest today? We are doing chest today. Uh, it'll be a full workout. Um, we're going to hit about 12 to 14 sets. And we're going to start with inclines. Cool. And bench pressing is your like basic movement for, for chest? Incline benches. Incline? Incline benches. Okay. You know why that is? I think I do have an idea. Tell them in Russian why you think I'm doing what I'm doing. Я думаю, что Майк начинает именно с шима на наклонной скамье, потому что в основном у всех отстает upper chest. So uh, this is what is lacking in for, for most of the people. So this is why you start out with uh, incline bench. Well, we're guys, right? Yeah. Most guys are born with that natural lower chest. And so, and guys get so sucked into the idea that a bench press is a true man exercise. Well. Yeah, it's a great exercise if you're doing a powerlifting move, but if you're doing the secondary work or, or trying to develop a chest, it's this. Mm -hmm. Take a look here. This is what we need, more so than he already has this. Okay. So why wouldn't you start with it when you got the most energy? Yeah. I think address them about injuries. A lot of guys have bad shoulders, right? So yeah. when they bench press on the uh, incline, they don't like it because they're weaker. Uh -huh. It hurts their shoulders. So I'm going to show you two techniques on how to save your shoulder and still isolate the upper chest. Cool, cool. Yeah, let's do it. So the first thing is, you know how everybody brings up the bar high? Yeah. So these elbows are up here. I want the elbows down. I'm still down here. So you're still bringing the bar to the lower chest. The angle of the bar goes up and over the upper chest. So now that we went from flat bench to incline, that's already, you moved it once, right? Yeah. Why would you move it twice? Why would you move it up to an incline and then take it from the lower chest to the higher chest? Now you changed it twice. So why would you take it from here and go up here? That's two movements that you changed. Do you understand? Yeah. So the problem is, by doing this, you're impinging the shoulder. So go to incline, keep the bar low, like this. So it's still going up and over. Yeah. Usually I go like this. Right. We'll get there, but not now. <clears throat> this one feels safer. Yeah, I can tell it right now. Shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All safe. I can feel it nice. Nice and smooth. What? Yeah. And the lift off. Give me a spot. Your arm's shaking at 135. Come on, just look excited. Oh! You're in the fucking Hey. 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 And then we'll get to the reps. Like, how many reps range? Like, range-wise. I mean, I'm not going to go up higher than three or something. So today, the game plan is five sets, three reps. Five sets. Five sets, three reps, heavy. But warm up smart, save as much energy as you can, try to get as heavy as you can before you start that. Make sense? Yeah. What weight are you going to be using? I will be using four plates. Four wheels. 105 pounds for five sets of three. <laughs> he can Fun! Go. Fun! Alright buddy, you want to lift off or no? Yes please. Uh, big breath or are you going to give me a count? Let me move it. One, two, three, count. One, two, three, count. There you go. Don't let it go. You just take your time. Come off slow. So you'll watch 
I'm not sure about three plays though. <laughs> you'll watch, you'll watch Mike. And I'm still figuring this out myself too. It's literally like he comes down. Yeah. There's no. It's literally just no. he's contracted, contracted, contracted. <laughs> the, like it, the, there's never a, a hiccup. There's never an extra flex. Uh -huh. He is literally flexed the whole All time. The time. And it's it's very hard to master, but you, you literally you'll watch this line, like you kind of you bring it down, and then you see that line relax, and then you see it kind of explode again. Mike's is literally hard the whole time. He does it on squats, he does it on shoulders, arms. It's like a, a so constant. No bouncing, no, no, it's like a like constant contraction all the way through, which is very it's it's very mentally difficult because you're like you're like you're almost overthinking. But it and this is kind of to do, right? Like it's keeping just, it tight all it's what he does. Like so for me, I love going down and yeah, powering through yeah, stuff. Yeah. Which I can move a lot of weight. But as soon as I come down, Doing it under it, control it, 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 like, Except for squats, on squats I've mastered it. But my bench will go from you never do it like you know, 470 to 415. Like, so when I take that pop out of it, yeah, a lot of my strength or fake strength goes away. You know, because Mike will go down, and there's never, there's never. He doesn't have to generate force. He can just create force, and it is a different world of strength. He actually might be stronger than me in bench press. He's doing bench press all the time. I usually, I usually do a dumbbell twice in isolation trap. This man is all about strength. Right? Strong Jeff. Oh, Come yeah. on. Keep it tight. That a boy. One more. Good. It's easy. It's 225. on his principles, especially on bench. Like he's been trying to teach me how to lift on this for three years. So, you know, I'm stubborn. Um, it actually took three years for you to realize that his techniques works. <laughs> well, not the, listen, we, I've adopted a lot of his stuff. The biggest thing, yeah. but I hope the fans understand this. We're men, we're stubborn. We, we grow up bench press is, is the lift. And, and as young guys, we have to do that. He had to do that because, I don't know if you know this, he played 10 years of NFL football. So he played at the highest level in American sports. Um, and so bench press is a huge portion of that because that's how they get tested going into the pros. So he has to bench, and he has to bench fast. Now that didn't develop a chest, it just developed power and speed. And, and I think most of us want this, right? The shape as well. And now we have to break 30 years of training and yeah. mind process. You'll lock it in. So you got used to it. it's tough to do. Yeah. Well, and it's hard to swallow your ego. That too. You know, because you you, you go from being a lot of weight. You know, and I like to compete. And it's not just enough. Like if if he's at 405 and I'm at 315 and he does 10 and I do 10, I'm still like I lost because he was still 90 pounds heavier than me. So we've always those battles. You know, it can be a bad thing though. I'm, I'm going to be very, very purposeful, especially on this incline, because my triceps have always been a weak point. Because in the football world, we didn't we didn't work a lot of triceps. We didn't work arms. Because you work a lot of legs, legs, back. core, yeah. back, chest, all the power stuff. Because you know, a tight bicep's a bad thing in, in the NFL world. You're going to pop up a bicep in a heartbeat. A tight pec is a bad thing in the NFL world. You know, a tight back is a bad thing. So some of the Bodybuilding mindset creates stuff that you don't necessarily want on an athletic arena. Um, but now, 40 years old, and we'll dial it in, and I'll catch his weasel rear end uh, on, on the back end. So. What? 
Good. Give me one more. I'm with you. Plenty of strength. Tight, tight, tight. Finish. Good. Good set. Good set. Да, так гораздо сложнее. Если бы с отбивочкой, я бы сделал три двадцатка. В общем, Майк сейчас будет сжать вот эту штангу. 450 фунтов, 205 килограмм. Я так понимаю, на одно повторение, может на два, и дальше он будет сбрасывать вес и езжать уже на повторы. Ну, Майка, в общем, своя уже методика, вы уже поняли, она сконцентрирована на развитии силовых, на развитии связочного аппарата. Очень любит силовые, поэтому все мышечные группы он прорабатывает сначала в силовом режиме. Вернее, как он это объясняет? Пока есть энергетика, он делает тяжелое, Силовые движения. И после этого он уже делает изоляционное yeah, очень неудобное положение. Four. Four Shell sometimes. Well noted. <laughs> that was wrong though. That felt good. Pull out of control. Oh, oh. You see it though? It was never a moment though. No. It was just totally, totally different. The arguments we had about this is an extreme. And this is coming from a guy that played 10 years. I can't never play pro football. Um, This guy played with the greatest, and he, and he out averaged three times. So, like in, in pro football, you average two and a half, three years. He made it 10 years. So, not was he just a pro football player, but he made it three times longer than any other average pro. So, he's elite. That he says he wasn't the gifted athlete, but he will outwork the athlete. And so, with all this in the background, it comes back around to the point of explosion or speed. Speed is from ground zero to 100 miles an hour. How fast can you go? Right? Yeah. For athletics. So he was able to adapt to this and create this explosion from zero to 100. But people train in a momentum. Yeah. It's not the same thing. They think it is. They think, oh, I'm going to go through the rep fast. That means I'm working on my explosion. Not. Explosion is taking something down, controlling, becoming a coil and crushing down into a position. Everything you do, and then up. You're a coil, and then explode. So when I lift this, I'm lifting it down, and then up. So that means no matter what I can do, or I can put 50 pounds on, and now bounce it up in a power lifting. Yeah. So there's that difference. So if you ever take speed away from a power lifter, they get weak. It's just one of those things that, that, that slow it down. Don't be such in a rush. Don't get an ego. The strength comes back. Well, and the truth is, time. for the bodybuilding world, you need heavy weights. There's too many people that try to build an artificial muscle with just a whole bunch of volume. I don't think that's healthy for the heart. I don't think it's healthy for the muscle. I don't think it's healthy for the body. I think you need, this guy can volume you to death. You know, we'll do birthday squats with 315. He'll put 225 on this bar right now and crush 50 easy. But yet he has max level power strength as well, one double rep. So, listen, it's we all fight. So yeah. it's important to keep all the ranges, like high reps, low range, everything. So we don't want just a healthy body. We want healthy muscle. We, we want healthy strength. Like, for, for 25 years, I was very, very explosive, but I wasn't necessarily all that strong. I could make you think I was strong because I could move a lot of heavy weight, but as soon as he slowed me down, where'd my strength go? It wasn't there. 
because I couldn't move the weight. I could momentum or power through the weight, you know, um, which I believe in sports, there's a time for that, you know, because in football, I'm, I'm jerking. It's not, I can't in football, I can't, and then pop. I'm, I'm yanking and tussling. I'm, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So I need that momentum strength. But I also need controlled power. So when I am getting ready, getting ready, bam, I can punch somebody when I need to punch them, you know? And so I missed out on a decade of NFL strength where if I would have had him and some of the thought processes he's taught me, I could have been that much more strong. And the truth is, developing his type of strength would have only made me more powerful with the momentum. So if I would have gotten to the point where I was controlling a 455 bench, then my power bench might have been 505, 510, you know? So. Are you sharing this intel with the guys who are still playing? Well, the problem is guys that are still playing, don't, most of the guys that are still playing are much more worried about their Instagram following and their brand <laughs> and their t-shirt company than they are getting better. And, and Mike will tell you, we have guy after guy after all guy. I fitness guys who does that. Well, no, no, but listen, we have guy after guy. The guy comes in here, he will pour out 30 years of experience and they take it and do nothing with it. People ultimately don't want help. Most people are arrogant jerks. They think they have all the answers and they're never willing to change. And so um, there's, there's some young guys in the NFL that um, I always try to help. But most of them, they don't want to work hard. They're much more interested about smoking their weed and you know finding their next chick to hang out with. Um, and that's why the average career is three years and two games. You know? That's sad. One, two, three. Yep. One more, one more, one more. Finish it? Good. I like it. Do you? I like it. Yeah. You're getting used to it. You're getting, it's the first time doing it that way. Yeah. You'll get used to it. You slow it down a little bit. My biggest record, I think, I did three plays for eight traps, oh. but it was all bouncing, you know, like wider and bump, 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 bump. That was a better set. That was a better set than 315 bouncing. Before his hands were inside. Oh yeah, so before, see that? More narrow. Now, taking it out. Okay? Yep. Second thing, before here, now go. And now look where he's taking it. So it's What's this for most people do? Secondary. It's a secondary exercise. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's warmed up. He's yeah. got blood in there. His shoulders are looser. Now you can pull the elbows back. Now you yeah, can open yeah, them. Yeah. Now you can put it up top. That now allows your shoulders to be rested and feel full blood and move better. And let her wait. Yeah, you can't go that heavy with this technique. Okay. Come on, Mikey. this now yeah so you come down and you go stronger so you can still go heavy but it's lighter than the previous way so you can lift heavier right okay rep it show Alex what's up baby come on now Смотрим за чемпионом.
the same exercise, performed slightly different. But you can do two or, you know, you can do this three or four different ways, even though it's the same incline bench. And I think most people think, no, no, there's one way to do a squat. There's one way to do an incline. There's not. There's many ways. People think that they do the same thing. In reality, it's uh, might be completely different. They see me squat. Might look the same way, but you can move a finger up. That's different. Another finger out. That's different. So it's the smallest things is a huge difference, and people don't realize that. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Look at that. Everything, all the way. Look at that. One more. Feel it. Now stay there for a second. Stretch it. Close your eyes. Now push up. Yeah, no, no, that's all right. Stay in the form. Good, rock it. That's a nice feel. How good is that? Tell me in Russian how good that feels. Офигительно чувствуется. Офигительное подконтрольное растяжение. Прям такое глубокое, глубокое растяжение. Если держать, контролировать, чтобы локти не уходили внутрь, а были в одной плоскости с плечевым суставом, то получается очень классная прожимка тоже. Именно верха грудных очень хорошо чувствуется здесь. Это на самом деле вариация. Есть жим, который называется гильотина. Он обычно делается на горизонтальной скамье, а это на наклонной. Еще круче. Попробуйте. That we went heavy, I gave it a different feel, and now you stretched it. What are the two changes that you notice? I think I'm stronger at this isolation movement. I think I would normally go lighter with this kind of concentration and uh, smooth pace. I'd go lighter, so feel stronger. And what else? I feel like... Uh, uh, How's the blood right now? Yeah, I, I feel more muscles being more involved in the movement. How, how long? This is going to throw you now. How long we take it between sets? A lot. Like five, uh, seven four, five minutes? minutes? Yeah, maybe seven. So, when I see people rushing and rushing and rushing, keeping the blood they're flowing, fatiguing, they're fatiguing, fatiguing, yeah, fatiguing. Yeah, yeah. Where you're giving me 100% in each set. To me, for the long period of time, not just a, a three months of training, but for years and years and years, that to me is more. You take five minutes in between and your chest is filled, as you can see. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Get a shot. And there's that density now that we did heavy, and you went heavier on an isolation, too. Yeah. Go to five. Never try these machines. I'm guessing it's not just a regular pressing mode. No, we're going to change it. We're going to go real decline. Set the number, set the number. 
a go. Bomb three. All right. Twenty. You can do twenty. Watch this, son of a bitch. His arms are this long. <laughs> this long. Well, is that big. <laughs> <laughs> Power right there. Fourteen point one. Just one time more than I did. You get fourteen? Woo, someone's on ten. Don't try to get fancy at this point. Just finish the workout out. 
then pop the shirt. We can't see anything here. We don't have enough filters on the camera. Be like Show us what the red. Come on. There you go. No? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you almost. Almost did it. Almost. Go. It. Both pop it. Pop the fucking top. Pop the top. Let's go. Pop it. Pop the fucking top. Pop it. You gotta pop it. Peer pressure. You look fucking great. Big Alex. Showing us what's up. All the girls are looking at Alex already. Up ah. the top, man. Ah. Next set. Next set. <laughs> you got my pumps. Plain Arnold, this little red dude is, a little is, red is dude. claiming to be a red uh, Arnold. <laughs> 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 he said little, he looked at his bicep. Get him yeah. set. Check this shit out. Come on. Oh, wow. Bicep. Come on, brick top. Just a side note about brick top. You're married or uh, going through problems with your girl, do not bring her to the gym. Hey, don't <laughs> limit, don't limit anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, he's got his shirt on, so you can't really see all the contractions. What's going on? So is the pump. He drinks his drink. Can't do it next to my... Pull it out, man. Pop the top. Here it is. Pop the top. I need your help. Shirt sure off. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You look good, man. Come on. You gotta start training apps, though. What are you weighing right now? Uh, it's a 40. 240 pounds. A bra, man. Nice, dude. Nice. Тренировка в Архиве, Майка Керн, Джефф. Всем спасибо за то, что посмотрели. Поддерживаю Майка. Ссылки на страницы и Майка, и Джеффа я оставляю в описании. You guys have anything to say? Ah, just uh, pay attention to what we're doing. Uh, we wasn't just a basic little chest workout. Little fine details. You man? So uh, take all those uh, tips that we gave you, and we will be applying those in the next workout. Variations and all of that. Point of purchase? All right. What? Uh, That's it. That's it. That's for Dania. Most muscular. Oh! By the way, he's that star from the previous video with Sean Rod, remember? That guy posing at the reception that. desk? That's the guy. Yeah! Oh, good transition! Oh.